Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. It's spring and we're experiencing snow melt and spring runoff and that means many rivers will be flooding across Canada, across the world in the northern hemisphere because that's what happens every year. The snowpack comes, spring warms it up, the snow melts, it goes into the river. Now, most communities were built alongside rivers because in the old days people had to get water from the river for all their needs, whether it be drinking or washing clothes. And that's how communities have grown out from rivers over time. But that doesn't mean that climate change is making flooding worse because that's not true. Roger PLK Jr. looked at the IPC's recent report on extreme weather conditions and he found that in most cases there's no indication of any increase in trend in flooding or droughts or anything like that. He's been following extreme weather conditions for about 25 years for the insurance industry. So he's a very credible source on this and you can read his blog post about it. But you know, when people tell you that this or that weather condition is caused by climate change, remember the first of all, climate change is measured in 30, 50, 100 and 1000 year periods. And that means that there would be a persistent trend in that 30 year period, a statistically representative trend of additional, say, flooding. And if that trend is not seen there, that's not climate change. It's just extreme weather. Now we have a couple of items on our uh, YouTube channel. One is with uh, Dr. Madhav Kandekar. He gives a complete presentation on extreme weather conditions and how extreme weather is simply integral to climate itself. And then we've got about four or five short interviews with him that we did I think in around 2017. So 2018 maybe. So have a look at those and get a more comprehensive understanding of the difference between climate change, which is long-term periods, and weather events, which are extreme weather events. and Spring flood happens almost every spring, <laughs> so uh, we should just be prepared for it. And adaptation is really the key to addressing anything about climate change. Buying carbon credits, paying a carbon tax, building wind and solar farms, none of those will have any effect on climate change. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.